that's fair. Um, I guess I'll, I'll just read through my notes here. Uh, the opening track, I like, I love the bass intro. It's a slow opening track, though, which isn't something mm-hmm. I do care for usually. But I get it, it's a concept record. Um, the bass tones, again, on For a While is another example. Uh, it has an In Your Honor Disc 2 Foo Fighter vibe. That was my... Uh, okay, okay. I love the outro vocals. Um, yeah. Time Machine is a favorite of mine on this one. More instrumentation. Yeah, that had a cool riff. Yeah, great lyrics. It had guitar solo. Uh, Spaceship had a great sound in the verses. It was very like spacey, and it fit what he was going for on that one. Um, the lyrics have a double meaning in that one as well. That's another favorite. Okay. Uh, Sunrise is very Jack Johnson. But Ed pulls it off really well in this one. Uh, this would be a great on an acoustic guitar sitting on the beach at night type vibe. That's where it puts me mentally anyway. Love Elation, Love Elation has a kick-ass guitar riff, and I really like the melody of the verses. Really sweet song. Uh, Convince Me is super chill. Hell, all of this album is super chill. It's a vibe for sure. Trip Around the Sun. Again, beach feels, good drum beat, catchy chorus, it gets stuck in your head. It sounds so familiar, but I couldn't place it. It's not a bad thing. It was a good sound. Uh, I love the, there are things we weren't, we aren't meant to control. The more you reach, the more they grow. Like this mirror's reflection, who's looking back at me. Uh, the music stops and the, man, I don't know. That's pretty cool. That's a cool part. Uh, Unknown Melody was also a favorite. Uh, it's a fucking hilarious song for anybody who's ever tried to write music. <laughs> it's true. So, uh, 